Okay, quick update before I start the uh, air readings. I am gonna get air and fire up today. I will, might even shoot for earth too, just to get them over with before the weekend because um, my little kids are leaving for two weeks for Boston. Um, so I'm probably gonna be a little bit of a disaster this weekend. Uh, they don't really wanna go, but like, uh, you know, when you share uh, children, you don't actually get a choice, <laughs> you know. Yes, the extensions are back in, guys, so um, it's it's a long story of me going in the water and when my, when my hair is short and it gets wet, it looks, you know, I look like a shaggy dog, so we threw the extensions back in um, for my, for my two weeks without the children because I'll probably be living, you know, at the beach or in the water. But anyway, so, um, what I wanted to give you guys for an update is um, July 17th, which I believe is the new moon. So not the full moon that's coming up on the third, which is gonna be pretty significant as well. I believe it's in Capricorn. Um, it isn't in really a hard placement, but I don't wanna say anything about that because the last time I said that everybody contacted me, I was like, you said this moon wasn't gonna be bad and it was fucking disastrous for everybody, including myself. So not saying anything about this full moon that's coming up on the third. Um, although it's supposed to be very life-changing and it does have to do with relationships. Um, uh, so for the for this whole time that Venus is in retrograde, many people will probably be coming back into your life. This can be family members you don't speak to anymore. This can be, you know, uh, ex-lovers. This can be friends. So expect the unexpected during um, the retrograde that is going to last for quite a while now. And then um, the other thing is July 17th is supposed to be the day. So every year you have like this transition, there'll be a day that it sort of like marks the next transition um, or the next phase of what's going to happen in your natal chart or what's gonna happen for you personally. It's everybody, it's not like one person, okay? And July 17th is that day. And um, if you know you're rising, go Google, you know, what you is gonna be in store for the next phase of your life. But um, expect, let's see, um, I look at moon and rising personally because, you know, your moon is who you really are and your rising is who you present yourself as. So mine, if you guys are a Virgo rising, for instance, will have to do with um, long-term commitment, marriage, uh, engagements possible all the way till September 4th, I believe. Um, this has already been in my tarot reading, so we'll see guys like, like hmm, what's going to happen to me? You know, like... Um, the other thing will be like spirituality is going to be really significant right now for me um, during this next phase. Um, income is going to change significantly. These, I can't fucking get any worse. It can, let's not say that. Um, and so if you want, if you know you're rising, uh, look it up. And if you, if you know you're rising and want me to look it up, just, you know, drop me an email, whatever it is. But, um, I have looked for some other people. So if you are a good friend of mine, I probably already updated you as to what to expect for the next, uh, portion of your, and by the way, this, the, this goes on for a while. This is not like going to be a short change. This is going to, this is going to extend itself for quite some time. So, um, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see how accurate it is. And depending on your, um, I'm getting a text message. Um, and depending on your chart personally, you know, whether or not it's going to be negative or positive, because it's going to be different for everybody. It's, you know, there's going to be negatives and positives. It doesn't, nothing's ever like clear cut. It is like the yin and the yang, right? We have to have um, both. So, anyway, um, now that I, it, update on my health it's not good it's not good i'm still going to be able to make videos and stuff like that i just wake up really really freaking nauseous and, and feeling like shit um i had lost my health insurance recently i believe i believe i'm getting it back by next month and then i can start going back to the doctors again and for those of you who don't know i do suffer from an autoimmune disorder um lyme disease so um it comes and goes and when i'm bad i'm really bad and when i'm good and still bad <laughs> so, but um the you know what are you gonna do so um anyway i hope everybody has a great weekend and i will get all those readings up and now that my kids are going to be gone um and the house will be very quiet i will finally go live i will 
I don't know how it's going to go. You guys know I'm not really a good speaker. Uh, I'm doing my best, but um, I will. Uh, I will give that a whirl. Okay.